Ever wondered how some people seem to effortlessly grow their wealth? What if I told you there's a simple rule that could multiply your money in just four years? It's called the 843 rule of compounding, and it's been a game changer for smart investors. So what exactly is compounding? In simple terms, compounding happens when you invest money and earn returns on that investment. Instead of taking those earnings out, you reinvest them. This means you're now earning returns on your original investment and on your previous earnings. It's like your money is working overtime for you. With that analogy in mind, let's shift gears and focus on the star of our show, the 843 rule. This rule is a simple yet effective framework for building wealth through compounding. It consists of three key elements. The 8 stands for an 8% return on investment. The 4 represents a 4-year investment duration. And the 3 signifies investing in three different assets. Now, let's break down each one of these elements to really understand how they work together. First up, we have the 8% return. This might sound ambitious, but it's actually a realistic and achievable target for many investors. This percentage includes both the growth of your investment and any income it generates. It's a balanced approach that allows your money to grow steadily over time. You might be wondering, is an 8% return really achievable? While past performance doesn't guarantee future results, historically the stock market has averaged around 10% annual returns over the long term. So 8% is a conservative yet realistic target. Moving on to the next component of our rule, we have the four-year duration. This emphasizes the importance of thinking long-term when it comes to investing. By committing to your investments for at least four years, you give them time to weather any short-term market fluctuations and realize their full potential. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. But why four years specifically? Four years is long enough to see significant growth through compounding, but short enough to be an achievable goal for most people. It's a sweet spot that balances patience with results. Last but certainly not least, we have the three in our 843 rule, which refers to investing in three different assets. This is all about diversification, spreading your investments across different types of assets to reduce risk and increase your chances of long-term success. Now that we've broken down each component of the 843 rule, let's see how it works in action. Meet Alex, who has $15,000 to invest. Following the 843 rule, Alex decides to divide this money equally among three different assets, stocks, index funds, and real estate investment trusts. Over the course of four years, assuming an average annual return of 8% for each asset, Alex's initial $5,000 investment in each asset will grow to approximately $6,800. That means Alex's total investment after four years would be worth about $20,400. Not bad, right? But wait, there's more. Let's take this example a step further and see what happens when we add regular contributions to the mix. Let's say Alex decides to take it a step further and commits to adding $500 per month to each asset. After four years with the same 8% return, each of Alex's investments would be worth approximately $34,000. That's a total of $102,000 across all three assets. Now that we understand the 843 rule and have seen it in action, you might be wondering, how can I put this into practice? Well, I've got you covered. Let's dive into seven key principles that will help you implement the 843 rule and make the most of compounding. Our first principle is all about timing and consistency. Start early and stay consistent. Remember that acorn we talked about earlier? Well, the sooner you plant it, the sooner it starts growing into a mighty oak. The same principle applies to investing. Starting early gives your money more time to compound and grow. But what if you're not in your 20s anymore? You might be asking, what if I didn't start investing in my 20s? Is it too late? Absolutely not. The best time to start investing was yesterday, but the second best time is today. While starting early is ideal, it's never too late to begin your investing journey. Moving on to our second principle, let's talk about making investing a habit. Automate your investment. Life can get busy. It's easy to forget to invest regularly. That's where automation comes in handy. Set up automatic contributions to your investment accounts. This way, you're consistently adding to your portfolio without having to think about it. Our third principle is where the magic really happens. Reinvest your earnings. This is where the power of compounding really kicks in. Instead of cashing out your investment gains, reinvest them. This allows your money to continue working for you, generating even more returns over time. But what about specific types of earnings? You might be asking, what about dividends? Could I reinvest those too? Absolutely. Many companies and funds offer dividend reinvestment programs that automatically use your dividends to buy more shares. This is a great way to accelerate your investment growth. 
Moving on to our fourth principle, let's revisit a key component of the 843 rule. Diversify your portfolio. Remember the three in our 843 rule? This is all about diversification. Spread your investments across different asset classes, industries, and geographical regions. This helps reduce risk and could lead to more stable returns over time. You might be wondering, how many different investments should I have for good diversification? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but a good rule of thumb is to aim for at least 20 to 30 different stocks or a mix of broad market index funds covering different sectors and regions. Our fifth principle is all about making smart choices. Focus on quality investments. When it comes to investing, quality trumps quantity every time. Look for investments with strong fundamentals, reliable cash flows, and a track record of steady growth. This applies whether you're investing in stocks, real estate, or bonds. But how do you identify these quality investments? Look for companies with consistent revenue growth, strong balance sheets, and competitive advantages in their industry. For other assets like real estate, consider factors like location, potential for appreciation, and steady income generation. Our sixth principle is crucial for long-term success. Stay disciplined and patient. Investing can be an emotional roller coaster with ups and downs along the way. The key is to stay disciplined and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market movements. Remember, we're in this for the long haul. Our final principle is about continuous improvement. Stay informed and educated. While you don't need to become a financial expert, it's important to stay informed about your investments and the broader economic trends that might affect them. Regularly review your portfolio and be prepared to make adjustments as needed. But how often should you be checking in on your investments? Well, it's good to stay informed. Checking too frequently can lead to unnecessary stress and knee-jerk reactions. A good rule of thumb is to review your portfolio quarterly or semi-annually, unless there are major life changes or significant market events. Now that we've covered these key principles, let's address some common questions that might be on your mind. Is the 843 rule guaranteed to make me rich? While the 843 rule is a powerful strategy, it's important to remember that all investments come with risk. There are no guarantees in investing, but this rule provides a solid framework for long-term wealth building. What if I can't afford to invest much right now? Start with whatever you can afford, even if it's just $50 a month. The key is to begin the habit of investing regularly. As your income grows, you can increase your investment amount. Should I use the 843 rule for all of my investments? The 843 rule is a great starting point, but as your wealth grows, you might want to consult with a financial advisor to create a more personalized investment strategy that aligns with your specific goals and risk tolerance. What if I need the money before the four-year period is up? It's always a good idea to have an emergency fund separate from your investments. This way, you're less likely to need to tap into your investments before they've had time to grow. The 843 rule of compounding is your roadmap to financial freedom. Start early, stay consistent, and let time work its magic. Remember, wealth isn't built overnight, but with patience and smart investing, you can achieve your financial dreams.